Hey, I'm Youssef, and today I'm going to talk about DB Connect V2, which is a feature that Databricks has released one year ago. It's a client library for Databricks runtimes that allow you to connect popular IDEs, notebook servers, and other custom applications to a Databricks cluster. It enables you to write code using Spark APIs and run them remotely on a Databricks cluster instead of local Spark session. It's built on the top of Spark Connect, which introduces a decoupled client-server architecture for Apache Spark that also enables remote connectivity to Spark clusters using the DataFrame API. Since the release one year ago, Databricks has added a lot of improvement, like full data support, streaming support, support for all Pandas API, and also Scala support. And recently, Databricks unveiled the serverless offering, and now you can use our serverless offering with DB Connect. And that's the purpose of this session. I will show you how to modify the configuration of DB Connect V2 in order to benefit from the serverless compute. Or if you haven't installed it yet, I will also show you how to run your uh, setup quickly. Let me just share my screen and we'll be good to go. Here we go. The first thing you would need to do is to install the uh, Databricks Connect package. So just run pipe install Databricks Connect. If you already have Databricks Connect, you just need to run an upgrade to make sure that you are using the latest version. Or you can just test which version you do have. Pipe show DB Connect, you will see that in my case I have version 15. 0.3.0. Once uh, the client or the package is installed, you just need to run this command, which is Databricks at login, then configure cluster and host. And of course, I would need to copy the URL of my workspace. I would choose a name for my case. I will call it, for example, the profile would, call, would be staging. You would be prompt to uh, to the uh, the cluster. Just need to go, and you'll be set up. Then you would need to search for the cluster you're gonna be using. For my case, I'm doing the setup like it's the first time. And here we go. The next step would be to go to check, just to be sure that the configuration is done. So you need to open the config uh, to you need to go Databricks CFG. Ah, my bad. Okay, and you will see that if I go below, I have my profile called staging. You see I have the cluster ID already there and the host. So now, if I want to run the classic architecture, I would go to staging and run this in an interactive window. It will connect to the classic architecture. And since my cluster is always on, I won't need to wait for the uh, spin up of the cluster. What if you want to switch now to the serverless offering? You would have two options. You can remove the profile and just sw switch it with serverless, and then you can run again your compute. I can add, for example, aware. Team is not null, and I can run it again because you can see here I have not null, so I can run this, run my transformations, and have the result immediately. The second option you can have is to, if you go back to the configuration file, and instead of having the cluster ID, you can select an option from the configuration, which uh, you, you uh, let me show you an example. Okay, I will go to staging, and then I would need to remove the uh, cluster underscore ID and replace it with this configuration, which is serverless compute underscore ID equal auto. Make sure to remove the cluster ID, and then you can just 
quit the uh, configuration file and now if you want you can go back to the profile and switch again to staging. And that's it, you're now set up to use the uh, Databricks Connect with the serverless compute. Thank you for watching this session.